Hello dear students, your unit tests are over and now it's time for revision for our semester exams. We'll start with the first unit, Boundless Nature. Basically, in this videos, uh, there is a compilation of the videos that I have already sent. The one with the explanations will be there and the one with the exercises. Those videos are merged together and made into one video. If you already have those videos with you, you can go through them or you can view this video and revise what we have already done. Until then, you can continue with learning exercises and meanings and all. So let's start with the first chapter. Nature is boundless in its resources. Boundless means which has no end or limit. Man needs these resources to survive and create wonders. In this activity, you have been given pictures of three natural resources which you have to identify and write their usefulness. The first one is sun. The sun gives us heat and light. It gives energy to the growing green plants that provide the food and oxygen for life on earth. The second picture is of windmill. These wind turbines convert the kinetic energy into electricity. Winds also help the boats to sail through the water. And the third picture is of water. Water is used by all and we cannot live without it. We use it domestically for drinking, cooking food, washing dishes, brushing teeth and so on. It's a main component in agriculture and is used in industries as well. Today in your homework, you have to name these resources and write any two uses of each. I hope it's easy and you can do that, right? Activity 2. Read the following passage carefully. The passage is the story of an orange. Here we are given a story about the fruit orange that we eat. It's a common fruit which is found everywhere. But initially where it was grown, how it reached all over the world, which are the main countries, what are the di different types of oranges and so on. So now let's read the story. Nobody knows exactly from where the orange came, though Southeast Asia is thought to be its first home. But today, it is grown in most of the warmer parts of the world. Southeast Asia consists of countries like Myanmar, Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia and so on. From here, it transferred from India to the other European countries. The warmer parts of the world today are growing them. Warmer parts consist of the regions which are lying in the tropical area near the equator so these regions are also growing oranges in huge amount now the greeks and romans knew about the orange it is possible that the orange was carried from india to western asia and then to europe today the orange is the most important fresh fruit in international trade now we all know that India was a very prosperous nation from the early times. Various countries used to come to India for trade of spices, cloth and so on. So when these countries came to India, they found orange and from India it went to Western Asia. Western Asia consists of countries like Iran, Iraq, Syria, Turkey and from there it passed on to Europe. Today, orange is one of the most important fresh fruit in international trade. Trade means business between companies or countries. The three chief kinds of oranges are the sweet or common orange, the mandarin orange, and the sour or bitter orange. Of these, the sweet orange is the most important.
it is after three years that the tree bears fruit. An interesting kind of sweet orange is called the blood orange. Its pulp is deep red in color and it is grown in the Mediterranean region. The temple is an orange with a thin loose skin. It is a mixture of the mandarin and the sweet orange. Now, normally each plant has a different time duration to grow its fruit. So that way, oranges are grown after three years. One type of orange is blood orange. We all know the pulp of orange is orange in color, but the pulp of blood orange is deep red like blood. So the name blood orange and it is grown in the Mediterranean region. Mediterranean region is the region around Mediterranean Sea and it consists of the countries like France, Portugal, Italy, Spain, Greece. Same way other kind of orange is the temple orange. Temple oranges are grown in Florida and it is a mixture of mandarin and sweet orange. You can see from the picture that it has a thin loose skin. The sour orange is grown almost everywhere, especially in Spain. The chief use of this orange is to make marmalade since it is too bitter to be eaten as a fruit. Marmalade is a kind of jam, but in jam there are no fruit pieces, but in marmalade you will find pieces. It's like what we call in Gujarati chundo or in Hindi murabba. It is made of citrus fruits and mostly of orange or lemon. The orange is a clean fruit. Anyone who touches it only touches the outer covering which can be easily peeled off. The thick, oily and bitter skin does not allow insects to get into the orange. Oranges therefore are in demand all over the world. We know the oranges have a thick skin which we remove and then we eat the fruit. This skin helps the orange to stay as it is and does not get affected by insects. When the oranges are being transported or are plucked, they do not affect the pulp of the orange. The skin can be removed, can be peeled off. To peel off means to take the skin of fruits and vegetables. So, this way oranges can be transported easily throughout the world and hence are in demand everywhere. With this, this passage gets over and we got some new facts about oranges. Now, in today's homework, you have to write these meanings. First word is trade. Business between two companies or countries. Second word is mandarin. A small and sweet type of orange. Another meaning of mandarin is used for Chinese. But here in the passage that's not the meaning. Hence we won't write it. Third word is marmalade, a food item made with oranges or lemons just like jam. Fourth word is peel off, to take off skin of fruits or vegetables. Write these meanings one time and read the whole lesson again. We will start with exercises in the next class. First exercise is complete the sentences. A. It is believed that the first home of the orange was Southeast Asia. B. 
fruits begin to appear after three years. C. The Mediterranean orange is called blood orange as its pulp is deep red in color. Easy, right? Next exercise is answer in one word. First question. Which orange is the mixture of the mandarin and the sweet orange? Answer. Temple orange. B. Where is the blood orange grown? Answer. Mediterranean region. C. Which type of orange is used to make marmalade? Answer. Sour orange. Next exercise is answer in a sentence. Question 1. How many types of oranges are there? Name them. Answer. There are three chief kinds of oranges. They are the sweet or common orange, the mandarin orange and the sour or bitter orange. Question 2. Why is orange a clean fruit? Answer. The orange is a clean fruit because anyone who touches it only touches the outer covering which can be easily peeled off. Question 3. What is the use of the thick and oily skin of the orange? Answer. The thick and oily skin does not allow insects to get into the orange, keeping them clean. So that was Unit 1, Boundless Nature. Quite an interesting fun facts to be learned about orange. And the exercises are also very easy. So that was all about Unit 1, Boundless Nature.